channel today is going to be a baby and postpartum haul. So I've been collecting these things for the last two weeks or so. Um, and I thought, why not make a video about it? Because it's nearing the end of my pregnancy. I am 35 and a half weeks pregnant. And so I'm pretty much just nesting now. And all I want to do is buy things for the baby and just make sure my house is organized in specific ways. Um, I have a lot of products to show you guys, but I'm actually going to update you first on what's been going on with me. So if you checked out my last previous videos, um, you know I was hospitalized um, for potential pre-labor, um, early labor, and I had my doctor's appointment yesterday and got my results. My heart monitor, I guess, seemed normal. Um, all my blood work seems normal. The only thing that's different is that my platelets keep dropping and because I don't have high blood pressure or really any other symptoms to suggest preeclampsia or help syndrome, they kind of ruled it out. So I guess at this point it's just how my pregnancy is going at the end of it um, and it's just how my body is taking it. So that being said, also, that means that I most likely will not be able to get an epidural because if my platelets keep dropping, I will be unable to get one, which kind of sucks that I'll have that um, intense pain relief not be an option. But I know that there's other options. I just have to deep dive into them and see what they are. Um, yeah, so I guess that's kind of like the update for me. I am a lot bigger you can't really tell because i'm wearing black um but yeah so he's kicking me in my side again um i'm punching me because he's head down um and i guess i'll just say that like i am super excited to see him um oh my gosh she's punching me so much right now um, at my doctor's appointment, they also mentioned that because he's smaller than average, uh, which I had mentioned in my last video, um, he's actually a pound and a half almost underweight. Uh, it's like in the normal range, but it's just lower than the average. Um, yeah, so he's going to be a smaller baby, which will be nice for coming out, but it will be hard on him because he'll be smaller. Um, the doctor really wants him to stay till 41 weeks because then that way it gives him optimal time to grow. Uh, but she kept on saying he's probably coming before 38 weeks, which means to me that's two and a half weeks away, which means I do not have much time to finish getting everything. Getting all the necessities and cleaning my entire house. That is like the biggest thing is organizing my house into a kid-friendly way. So that needs to be dealt with um and yeah so basically he can come very soon from now and i am excited to meet him but i'm also really really nervous um and that will be another video i will be coming out with i think next if it's not my nursery haul it's going to be this video um and it's going to be talking about my fears for labor and postpartum so check out that video when it comes out uh yeah so i guess we'll just hop right into this haul because i have a lot of things a lot of things um so i guess what i'll start with is breastfeeding because it's the first thing that's in front of me so originally i was gonna buy the 200 dollars not the 400 dollars one the 200 dollars medela electric pump like the one one side pump um because i bought the haka um, I bought the Haka, which is highly recommended by like almost every single woman, basically. Um, it's really good. It's a natural um, hand pump, basically, um, let down catcher. So basically you just put it on the one boob um, and then if you're nursing, breastfeeding on one, the other boob, then the boob that isn't being nursed on, the extra milk that comes out is being put into this bottle. Um, which has a natural suction to it, so it it starts to take the milk out for you as well. So when you're breastfeeding, you're also getting milk out of the other side, which is really great because you're losing all that milk if you're not putting something there to catch it all. And also, it makes it for a next bottle time if you if your partner wants to bottle feed him, you know. 
or you're going away, so you need some milk storage. So, yeah, so I got the Hakka for that, and then um, I realized I'm like, if I'm gonna be nursing, like, I don't really need an electric pump. Um, I then was thinking, if I don't need an electric pump, and the, the reason why I haven't bought one yet is because I don't know what it's gonna be like during breastfeeding. And if you can't take the breast, then maybe I'll look into getting the electric. But if not, I think I'm just gonna get the Medela hand pump. I've heard really, really good things about the hand pump. Um, I'll put a picture in right here. It looks really easy to use and it catches a lot of milk, which is really nice. So I got the Hakka for now. And then if I need a breast pump later and I need a more intense one because he can't take my breast, then I'll do the electric. But if he doesn't take it, or if he does take it, then I'll just do the hand pump because then that'll be just so much easier than obviously the let down of the Hakka. Um, yeah, so that's kind of like the gist I'm getting because I'm not going to spend $200 on the machine that I may actually not use that often. And if I'm going to pump and it's like half the time, then maybe the hand pump will make sense to get. I'm waiting for that. Um, and then I also got milk freezing bags. I got the Medela ones because I've heard really good reviews of how to how they store and stuff. Um, also, it was super cheap on Amazon. I got pretty much everything off Amazon. I got this off Amazon. I was gonna quit Amazon. I fucking hate how much money Jeff has, but you know what? It saves me money. It does save me money buying from Amazon, which really is like. I guess the key to Amazon. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got these for, I think, so I got this for $17, it was on sale. Um, and then I got this for $12. So I got 50 breast milk storage bags for Medela. Um, and then for Medela again, I don't know why, I just feel like Medela is just like a good company when I was doing research and stuff, but they also have these bottles and I'm like, well, I might as well just get them because they're, again, $12. Um, so I just got three milk storage container bottles. Um, they're 1.5 ounce, or they're five ounce uh, bottles, um, but 150 milliliters, so depending on what conversion you want to do. I got three of them. Uh, this would be great so that if I have let down it from one boob, I put it in the fridge, and then if I pump later, I can add to it, um, and then so on and so forth. And you know, breast milk, if you don't know, it's three days less than the fridge. Um, there's a whole process that goes with this, and I will be doing a breastfeeding video when I have the baby, so stay tuned for that. It'll have a lot of information about breastfeeding. Um, and then, because that's the breastfeeding side, I also was going to get alcohol and screen tests, um, which I'm going to get later on because I don't really need that right now. Obviously, I'm not going to be drinking, um, but I thought that would be a good thing to have because if I'm like going out with a girlfriend to go get some wine, and obviously I need to ensure that I'm not contracting alcohol into my breasts and feeding my baby. So I'll obviously need those just in case. Um, but yeah, and then so I guess for the feeding part, I got this free Dr. Brown's anti-colic glass feeding bottle. Um, this looks really great. It's doctor recommended. It's natural flow, natural nipple, and it actually stops from the baby from spit up and just anti-colic basically. Um, yeah, so this is really good and this was for newborn. So I originally had this and then the bottles that I'm about to show you. So I was only going to do one newborn bottle um, because they grow so fast and they don't really need it at the beginning because I will be breastfeeding. Uh, and like, yeah, so I only bought, I only got one. I got this for free in a registry thing and I was like, this is perfect. I only need one. Um, and then I bought myself uh, the stage two boon bottles. I really like these. I like them because the color, first of all, so my aesthetic, gray, gray and white. And I just figured 
They are BPA free, but they're also like made out of silicone and uh, the nipple looks really nice. It's like got that real nipple look um, and it actually comes apart so it's easy to clean. I like this because it's silicone and the plastic's on the outside. So if I want to um, warm it up, it's so much more healthy for the baby. And yeah, so I got the Boone bottles, which I'm super excited about. They feel really nice. They're really good quality. Um, and I got three of those. And these were $27 or $28 from Bed Bath & Beyond and they were on sale and I got like a huge discount. Um, so these are $27 at Bed Bath. And then my mom, uh, she, I'm talking to her again, and she got me the Tommy Tippy uh, newborn bottles. So they're so tiny, I can't believe it. So she got me three of these, it came in a set. Um, these are slow flow, so again, anti-colic, um, and will just help the baby uh, take the bottle. Um, super cute, just plastic, um, BPA free though, and uh, yeah, I've heard really good things about the Tippy Tommy, and like it's pretty recommended from a lot of moms. Super excited about that. These are five ounces too, but they're like shaped oddly. So they're the same amount. So one of these equals one of these. So that's kind of good. It's just easy that way. Um, and then I got, oh, oh yeah. With the Medela bottles, they actually gave you um, like a quick clean bag. So you put the, the bottles in this and then you, you microwave it. So you put the bottles in here and you sterilize anything. So anything Medela you can sterilize in the microwave. Um, you just put it in this bag and set it to a, a setting. And it cleans you and sterilizes your stuff. Uh, yeah, so then that was the that was the breastfeeding part. I also on that end got this from the dollar store for like three dollars. It's a it's supposed to be a colander like a pasta colander, um, but I'm going to use it as a dish rack because it has the holes in it and it's perfect and it also extends across your sink. So this will be perfect to put bottles to dry in. I'm not going to spend $40 on a standing still bottle holder dryer. Like I'm just not doing that. That's ridiculous. So I spent $3 and got a colander. So if you want to save money, get a colander because it makes way more sense. And it's plastic, it's meant for dishes, and it's meant for, you know, uh, hot things. So it's not like it's going to melt or anything because it is a colander and meant for that. So, super happy about that. Definitely highly recommend getting a colander instead. got the baby binkies. So I only got him two binkies. These are for newborn. These are size one. So they're newborn to three months, I believe. Oh, plus one. So you can use this whenever um, you want. Uh, but I got these pacifier binkies uh, from Bibbs. They're super, super cute. They're that really boho chic that I love. And that's exactly what I wanted for the baby because I really like vintage things. And this looks very vintage to me. So I got them in the, uh, the green and beige, which that match all of his outfits. Super excited about these. These have got a natural mini nipple and everything. I've heard really good things about bibs. Um, so I got these and then I was thinking later on um, getting the size two, which is six months plus. Um, and I'm gonna do the glow in the dark ones um, because he's gonna be in our room for like the six to seven months. So it's not gonna be hard to find his binky in the bassinet, very small. Um, but once he's in the crib, it'll be a lot easier and like when he's moving around and stuff, it'll be just a lot better to have the glow in the dark one to find all the time. Um, and then I also got, because you get free a gift from Amazon, which I'm seeing everyone get a full box of free stuff. And then when I didn't, I was like, sweet, I feel kind of cheated <laughs> because everyone is getting them and I'm not. <laughs> But it's okay. I got this free little toy. Um, it's for three months plus, and it's just like a roll around hedgehog. It's super cute. Um, it is what it is. Like, it's just like 
a teething toy, which is great because he, I mean, obviously needs teething toys. So I got him this. Um, it was like a selection, pick what you want uh, for free, and I assumed you got the box with it. But yeah, so I got this, and it's ten dollars, so it's like I did get something for free, which is nice, and it is nice of them to, you know, gift you something for free. But I was kind of bummed I didn't get the full package that everyone was getting, because like everyone was getting like onesies with swaddles and bottles and samples of a lot of things and wipes and Aquaphor and like all these like um, nursing pads, bottles, like just getting so much in this box, and then I get this, and I was like so disappointed <laughs> but that's okay it's something right um and then i also got him this teether so i got him this um rattle teether it's like a little elephant super cute super soft i gotta wash this i gotta wash everything basically but yeah so super cute i got him an elephant rattle um yeah so that's that and then as for like fabrics and stuff I also got him some burp cloths, so I got these off Amazon, um, and I got them. They're the extra large ones, so they're perfect for like over the shoulder, or if you're out and about and you forgot your changing pad, you can change them on this if they're still newborn. Um, but yeah, so this would be great. I got three of these. I love the print. Super chic unique obsessed i love them it comes with like this pattern too i got these off amazon these are the uh trend lab ones and these were actually on sale like hella on sale at bed bath and beyond it was i think 28 dollars for the bird cloths and on amazon i got them for 13 dollars. so i saved 15 and hella worth it um and then at winners i was like trying to find some good baby towels because I learned watching Bridget Tyler's pregnancy video. She's like a birth doula and like a, her page is built to be mom, built to mom. Um, go check her out because all the videos are really, really great. I really like Bridget Tyler. She's really got some informative videos and I watched all of them already. <laughs> and some twice and it's just very informative stuff and she's a birth doula and she's a mom herself and it's just she's super young and she knows what she's it seems like she knows what she's doing so i was really listening to her and she's talking about how like how many things are made out of polyester and polyester has a lot of toxic chemicals in it because of the dyes that they use and i was like oh my god what polyester like almost everything is made of polyester for baby and i'm like oh my god I need to check everything and most of my stuff like literally I would say 95% of the stuff I've gotten is all organic cotton thank god because I would not be able to spend the money to rebuy everything um and get it cotton instead of polyester so now I'm like really on the hunt always looking for just 100% cotton or organic cotton or bamboo because those things are very good for your child there are zero toxins in them so that being said I was like looking on Amazon and looking at other places for baby towels, even Bed and Bath, and like so many of them were made out of polyester. And I'm like, I'm not gonna get a blue towel that is potentially toxic. Like, why would I do that? Um, so I was at Winners, and the last two of these 100% cotton towels that are hooded were on sale for $12 each. So I was already getting a steal deal because they were $12 each. And this one says established in 2022, like how cute. And it's gray, so it matches everything in my house. It's so perfect, it's 100% cotton, it's so big. It's perfect because it's gonna work for when he's a newborn and it's gonna work when he's a toddler. So I'm super happy about that. Established in 2022, thought that was freaking adorable. And then I got a second towel, which also matches everything. Like literally the exact same color as this bib, or this uh, burp cloth, the exact same blues. Um, and this one says little man on it. Like how cute. So I got these hooded towels for $12 each. Organic cotton, they're very, very good quality. And I can't believe I found one. I was like, I just scored. Like I scored because one towel was starting to cost $30 and like, 
it's not gonna happen. Um, so, uh, yeah, I got two for thirty dollars, which is great, or less than thirty dollars, twenty six dollars. So I got those. Um, so I'm actually gonna cut this video um, because apparently this is already fifty minutes long, and that's a too long of a video. So I'm gonna upload part one, and then I'll upload part two the next day. So. Stay tuned for that, and there's so much more that I'm going to be covering. I'm going to be covering my postpartum stuff, so um, definitely check out my next video um, that is part two of this. And yeah, so thanks for watching, and I'm sorry I'm breaking this up into spots, and Paige is even telling me this is too much. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video, and sorry I'm doing two parts, but it's just how it has to go. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.